Hello, welcome to this video of Odo Sales Module brought to you by Cybrosis Technologies. Today, we will be discussing the sales module and see how it will help you in your sales team. Okay, here is the interface of Odo Enterprise Edition. In this video, we are going through sales module. This is the overview of sales module and here is the option for setting company data, quotation layout, payment methods and sample quotation. Okay, the, is this the default view of sales module? Yes, it is. It is the default view. Also, more views are available. This is Kanban view and this is calendar view. Here we can choose day wise, month wise. Here we can see our quotations. This is the pivot view. Here is the graph view. Here we can choose pie chart, also line chart. This is the bar chart. Here is the option for setting activities. This option we will discuss later. Here is the quotation number created date this is the delivery date option also expected date the customer related to the quotation corresponding salesperson and the corresponding company this is the total amount here we can see the status this is sales order and this is the quotation this status indicate the quotation is sent to the customer. So can you explain how we can export or import the existing quotations to sales module? Okay, here is the option for importing the quotations. We can import in a CSV file or Excel file. Here we can choose the file from our computer. In the case of exporting, we can select all the quotations, action, the export option. By this window, we can export our quotations. In this view, a lot of options are available. This is the filters. We can filter the quotations or sales orders. Or we can add a custom filter. A plenty of options are available in the case of custom filter. This is group by feature. Here we can group the quotations by sales order. Sorry, salesperson, customer. In the case also, we can create a custom group. This is favorite option. We can select our custom quotation number and this is the favorite feature. Here we can save the current search. Okay, can we proceed to the steps of creating a quotation now? Sure. Here, click the create button. This is the quotation form. Here we can choose the customer. To know more about how to create a customer, please click the link above. Here we can choose quotation number. The details about quotation template and how to create a quotation template is given in a video which you can check in the link. Also this is the expiration date. We can choose the payment terms. Okay. This is the order lines. Option products. The product in order lines and the product in optional products are by the quotation template, demo quotation.
here is the log here we can create log node also we can schedule an activity are the changes done in shown in the log this is the state of quotation so this form is in quotation stage if we confirm this okay let me check I am confirmed with the quotation and this quotation is changed to sales order okay this option is to send the email to the customer this is the email form here we can manually enter the content this is the attached sales order can we see the quotation that you have sent yes there is a option that is customer preview here we can see the quotation this is the product which was in quotation template and this is the optional product payment terms okay this smart button is for delivery here we can check the delivery status this is the delivery form here we can set the priority shipping policy and if you want to add a note we can add that also Okay. Now we are going to check the availability of the products. okay this is in red color because that products are not available that means that products are not in our hand on hand quantity is not enough that's why anyway we are going to make it done okay now we are going to validate the form you are about to confirm this now oh, this is a new feature in order 13 delivery message as a sms text message now i am disabling this feature okay this form is validated now we are going to the sales order the next step is creating the invoice here we can see the button there is three options this is for regular invoice and this is down payment down payment as a percentage and this is down payment as a fixed amount I think these two options need no more explanations now we are going to create the invoice We can see the preview of invoice. 
this is the preview back to edit mode now we are going to post the journal entries if we want to send or print the invoice you can select this option this is the default email template registering the payment here we can choose the payment journal bank or cash this is the total amount date and memo validating okay now this invoice is paid um, this option is to adding credit note which we will discuss in another video this is how a quotation is created delivered and the invoicing process what are the other features included in sales module here we can see lot of menu options this option is for showing all the quotations under the orders we can find the status of sales orders this is the invoice status fully invoiced to invoice and nothing to invoice we can manage our sales team from this option this is europe sales teams and this is the america sales teams okay and we can create customers from this option this is the orders to invoice and this is the orders to upsell to know more about upsell please check the video here we can create products the link above explains how to create a product this is for creating product variants and reporting is a major tool in sales here we get a nice dashboard for sales a lot of informations are available in from this dashboard here we can choose the pie diagram this is the bar chart this is the line chart this is the pivot view we can download pivot view in xls format these are the options available in pivot view and this is the graph view in the reporting tool we can select a lot of measures a lot of options are available in reporting this is the configuration managing sales teams this is the quotation template here we can choose or create our quotation template creating a quotation template explains in the link above product attributes this is for setting unit of measures check the video for know more about how to set unit of measure these are the categories for unit of measure so this is the overview of sales module now we have to go to the settings option here we can find a lot of options grouped by different categories these options are related to product catalog setting variants variant grid and the unit of measure product packaging product configurator etc under the pricing section we can choose the discounts 
പ്രൈസ് ലിസ്റ്റ് കൂപ്പൺസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രൊമോഷൻസ് മാർജിൻസ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ദീസ് ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ആർ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻഡ് ഇൻ അവർ അതർ വീഡിയോസ് യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ദോസ് ഇൻ ദ ലിങ്ക്സ് അണ്ടർ ദ കൊട്ടേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഓർഡേഴ്സ് വി ക്യാൻ സെലക്ട് ഓൺലൈൻ പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് കൊട്ടേഷൻ ബിൽഡർ സെറ്റ് ദ സെയിൽസ് വാണിങ് എക്സെട്രാ ദീസ് ആർ റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ഷിപ്പിംഗ് This option is for choosing the invoice policy and this is the connectors. Okay, this is all about sales module having the features. So, in this video we have explained all the features of sales module which helps to maintain the sales team easily. Thank you for watching.